Hey guys, it's Dallas with EcoBattery. Today I wanna to go over a couple things on our chargers, mainly the charger interlock and how it functions. So essentially the interlock is designed to interrupt one of the power circuits going to the controller. It's an internal relay on the charger that literally has power in, power out, and that's it. We're not power and ground, it's just power in and power out. So what we wanna do is, like I said, interrupt one of those power circuits on the controller you can go to the key switch. Uh, I prefer going to the toe run switch. It's the easiest to access in most cases. I'm gonna use our EB Power AC kit here, our controller plate as an example. On a side note, the EB Power does not need the interlock relay hooked up. It has an internal um, logic that takes care of that for us already when we're plugged into AC Power. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take our pigtail here and we're going to install a couple of spade connectors on it so that we can attach to this toe run switch. What we wanna do is we want to remove just one of the wires from the toe run switch. Does not matter which one. And then we will install a spade connector on each one of the two wires from the interlock pigtail. We're going to install a female spade connector and a male spade connector. And I'll do that now. And again, it does not matter which one of these wires we choose because it's just completing a circuit. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm gonna just install a male here and a female spade connector onto this wire. And then we will take the, in this case, male spade connector and attach it to our previously connected tow run connector and then our male connector and attach it back to the tow run switch. Now we've introduced our interlock relay from the charger into the logic circuit on our controller and it will no longer drive when we're plugged into AC power with the charger and then as soon as we unplug from that power we are going to be able to drive again.